these two cavemen are waiting for you to impress them. Without taking any objects with you, how could you impress a caveman? Doing the moonwalk. I'm not exactly a caveman, and I'm still impressed by a well done moonwalk. Not exactly. With my weaker's physical form. The man would be amazed how I survived, and wasn't eaten by wild hedgehogs. You use them to make a funny point, but wild hedgehogs are actually quite vicious. They take hundreds of lives each evening, a little nap, and then hundreds more in the early hours of dawn. They're evil incarnate. It's first grade, Spongebob. Doing that thumb thing, where you split it in half. You would then get your skull bashed in with a rock. Duh, smash the witch. By being 6 foot 1, with no body or facial hair and pale af skin. Why giant baby so long? From that day forward, Long Baby was prominently featured on all the cave drawings in the area, baffling future scientists. He was also killed by a rock. Perspective drawing. I draw architecture, and I'm honestly wondering how alien it would be to draw straight cubes and lines for people who've only ever lived in natural environments and huts. I'm probably underestimating them, but I wonder. Infect them with all the modern contagions I'm bringing back. Get smallpox in return. The ultimate exchange. Maybe I could upgrade it to big parks. Fun fact. There actually was a big parks the great pox. It was syphilis. Just be there I have no right being as hairless and freakishly tall and scrawny as I am. A corpse's walk. Smashes you head in with a rock. Instead of impressing the cavemen. Carve pictures of UFOs and aliens into their caves. Just to screw with modern archaeologists. Draw the cool s. Why not take it a step further and turn Halo into a religion by depicting the forerunner flood war? I have a lot of dumb tattoos. Studies show that early humans were also into tattoos. We could compare and contrast and mix our styles. What constitutes a dumb tattoo? Social security number on your forehead. 69 on your face. I'm a good artist, so if I can access some berries, or ash or something like that, I could draw a realistic portrait of them. Edit, I keep getting people telling me they wouldn't recognize their own face. I know that's not really the point, I should've just said realistic art, I just prefer portraits. I just thought they would be impressed to see a realistic drawing of a human's face, and even if they don't recognize their own face they can recognize their friend's face. Also instead of using natural materials I found, I could also just carve it into stone with a sharp rock. That would easily work too. I do prefer line art. He stole my soul. Kill with rock. How is this the inevitable outcome for all possible scenarios? When you have heavy rock everything look like skull. I would do that thing, where you twist your palms together, and wiggle your middle fingers. Weird human possessed by ghost. Gets beaten with a rock. I feel like the real answer here is to make sure you have a bigger rock before showing them something. Pick up a heavy rock. I think that would resonate with them. I can even lift this heavy rock. The Macarena. I think the bird song would be better. It would be more relatable for them. Baby Shark. Didn't say you had to impress them in a good way. I had finally gotten that song out of my head. Now that my toddler had grown out of it and you come here bringing the trauma back in my head. Depending on how far back, making and using simple tools could be enough. What tool can you make? A simple fire starter and a bludgeon at least from experience. Come on, you're trying to impress a caveman. They totally have fire and a club. I think a pulley system would be impressive and useful and most people could make them with little knowledge. We would probably impress them even without trying. Just with the sheer amount of body fat. The remaining hunters and gatherers are usually very very lean and even someone with BMI 23 would be considered a fatty. They'd either kill you for taking all the food, or make you show them the best hunting spots, and then kill you for killing all the food. Breakdance battle then get him in an armbar. I don't know how to do either thing, so I'll have to learn, before I go back in time. Wait you're telling me you can go back in time. Show them my mouth full of, mostly, white, straight teeth. Get punched in the mouth, to make them go away. He picks up the fallen teeth, and adds them to his necklace. A fine addition to my collection. Save them 16% on their car insurance. Impossible. Build a trebuchet. There's all you need right there. I'd build an airplane, and show them how to fly. I'd build the internet, and show them anim. 
impress him by being alive without knowing how to make fire or hunt. Wow do man must be sacred monkey, stay alive no food. Okay, sacred monkey, we go get food, you not need, bye. Please come back, I'm starving. Goodbye sacred monkey. Honestly I just have to hope that having blue eyes is novel enough to make me interesting. Probably yes, a ferret is a relatively recent mutation. Who you calling a mutant? I'd do a cartwheel. I can't imagine they had been invented, yet and I'm pretty okay at them. Wasn't running not invented until 1612 by Thomas running? I would just show them how to run. He tried to walk twice. Intense air guitar. They would have no idea what the duck you were doing. Sure they would. They've already met Bill and Ted, remember? Beatboxing. Much like in today's world, you'd just get it in the face to make it stop. Memorize the dates of two solar eclipses. If you communicated to them what was about to happen, they probably would not think you predicted it, but rather that somehow you caused it. Shadow Puppet Show. I can do a bird, a dog, a butterfly, a bunny, and Nixon. I'm pretty sure I can entertain some cavemen with those somehow. I'm a farmer and metal worker. My hobbies are pottery, primitive trekking, weaving, building things, brewing, and carpentry. I'm pretty sure all of that would blow the minds of paleolithic hunter-gatherers. First order of business, deal with the smokiness of the cave with a rocket stove and dual chamber cob oven. Second order of business, glazed ceramics for cooker and other useful objects such as fat lamps. Third order of business, iron tools. Fourth, wood joinery and houses, laminated bows, the lathe. 5th, agriculture. 6th, plant and animal breeding and genetics. 7th, paper, ink, and written language. 8th, math, measurement. 9th, balance scales and weights. 10th, simple machines. I could go on. But I could, if they take to it, get them as far as steam power, hydroelectric power, light bulbs, and early radio. Crack your knuckles. Stranger break hands. Look at us, like we supposed to be impressed. Not impressed. Concerned. As an archaeologist, this entire thread is painful. At least no one has mentioned druids. Early humans weren't particularly dumb. It just takes a long time of stumbling around in the dark, when you have no frame of reference to create anything. We also managed to survive through socializing and learning from each other, so I doubt they would be nearly as violent as people tend to think. Most immediately impressive, I could probably locate and demonstrate the refinement of some metals. The quality would obviously be terrible, but that's a huge leap. I could also introduce the beginnings of math and precision measurement, but that might prove to be a higher hurdle than I think. Seriously, the first thing I thought of, and I think it would really work. Sing. Not just sing, but like try your hardest like noon is watching, and sing the best songs you can think of. Music is a universal language, and if you have a good singing voice it would be amazing. I still hear songs I've heard a billion times and certain parts in the vocals give me goosebumps. Make the hair on my neck stand straight up.